All vocal range tests are misleading for one critical reason, and here it is. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing and creator of the Second Nature Singing System. All vocal range tests are misleading because unless you are able to bridge, your results will likely be flat wrong. In other words, you can take the test today and the results might indicate you're an alto or a bass because you can't sing high notes, but you can sing low notes. If you learn tomorrow how to bridge, which is a major skill taught in pillar one of the second nature singing system, your range may increase by as much as an octave. Suddenly, you're singing baritone or tenor notes if you're a guy. And girl altos become sopranos because they increase their ranges so significantly. This happened to me. My high school teacher told me I was a bass. For 24 years, I thought the top of my voice was the E above middle C. It's actually over an octave higher. I could go higher, kind of. <laughs> Living with this belief about my range was extremely limiting to my singing. Well, what does it mean to bridge and how do you learn to do it? Bridging means you've learned how to sing from your chest voice, the low notes, to your head voice, high notes, with uninterrupted tone and without any strain. It means you can sing from low to high and back down to low without cracking or breaking into falsetto. It means that your head voice can now go as high or higher than your falsetto. They are different. Watch this video. I'll put it on the end screen at the end of this video. It'll tell you the difference between falsetto and head voice. This means that you were never a bass or alto, but a, a tenor or soprano who just needed to learn how to bridge. To learn to bridge, take this vocal test and discover your vocal type. I'll put the link to the test in this information card here and in the description below this video. By the way, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with a friend. Hit the bell to be notified when I post my next video. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Power to Sing. Your vocal test will help you discover your vocal type, which describes what your voice does as you sing higher through your bridge. Once you know your vocal type, you can do designer exercises custom made for your vocal type. The first thing these exercises do is teach you to bridge. Learn to bridge first, then take a vocal range test. Or do a before learning to bridge and then do an after learning to bridge test. Otherwise, you'll get inaccurate results, which is very misleading. Worse yet, you limit yourself to what you've been told your range is when it's not even close to being correct. If you know how to bridge, you probably already know your vocal range, and I'm sure it's much greater now than before when you were stuck in your chest voice. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Let me know in the comments below if you've learned how to bridge yet. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. For you, singing can be second nature.